Okay, we're back with another episode of Taking Tosh, and this time we're going to be taking a look at another Mezco 112 Collective, Daredevil. Before we get into this figure, I'm going to show you the, the box and then some of the accessories right quick. And then uh, we'll take a look at this fella. So here we go. Okay, this would be the clamshell he would come in. The figure here and his accessories, his hands here. And then, like I said, his accessories on this side and on the back. We got a bag here. If we didn't want to put the accessories into the clamshell, we could just put it in here. That's all for his accessories, this bag here. Then we got the opposing pole for his dynamic poses. And he's daredevil, so I'm sure he do have plenty. And as far as the box, this would be the front here. This is the sleeve, actually, but this is what the front would look like. It's a PX preview preview exclusive, but uh, I know it's what an exclusive is, but I don't understand why this one would be, but I'm sure you guys can tell me or help me out. Then we got a bit of artwork here, which that's why I like the, the classic variations, because they always show us a bit of artwork. And that's pretty cool. And then here's the window would be displayed in. Then on the back. Shows the figure with some poses. Some of these accessories. Okay. Let's get on to some accessories. First of all. Take a look at these radars. Only a piece of plastic is light. But it uh, serves the purpose. That will go on your dynamic pole. Just to put it in the back so you can see. There you go. Perfect. So I probably would pose them with this, maybe. It comes with six interchangeable hands, which is quite a few. He got his closed fist here. I'll show you the paint tab on him now in a second. And then these ones here open up. So he can put his uh, clubs or his belly knockers or his nightsticks, whatever he wants to call them. And then he got a couple of, an open hand here, which I got the other open hand on him. And as far as like the peace sign holding on to the belly clubs, we'll say, I got him on the figure also. Then we got these two hands. <laughs> I get to kick out of him. Like he's, he's perfect for when he goes to uh, see a Motley Crue concert. <laughs> then we got some open hands, like he's ready to grab a hold of somebody. There you go. And they done a great job for a little little figure. I like the Mezcos. I'm really having fun with them. I got a bunch coming. I'm doing this Daredevil right now. Actually, he's 2016, but still, uh, I couldn't forget him because he actually ended up being one of my favorites. So uh, I had to get him out there. So I said I'll do it now. But yeah, he comes with... Uh, Here's your belly clubs here, and they're on wires. This is good for if you want to pose them. Like if you want to have one end in his hand, the other, other one hitting off somebody or going towards somebody. Comes with three interchangeable heads, which I thought was pretty good. One there is just a with mask. White eyes. The hair looks great. Good enough for me. And then he got his normal one. I got the battle one on. But he got the red squinty eyes in this one. Which is great. Horns are a little bit sharp. Show you his other head there now. That's my favorite one, obviously. Yeah, I like the color of him. He's crazy. I like the classics because that's my age type thing. Belts looks nice. I got him paused with one stick in his hand, and the other one he's going for it right now. But yeah, if you took all the classic variants, like Superman, um, Wolverine, all of them, all of them, whatever ones you want, and you put them all together, they look so much better looking than the ones out now, which I got no problems with, but I just think... what. Well, it's just more eye candy when you see the bright yellows and the reds. Like, this is awesome. Like, you have him next to a classic Superman, which I'll probably will put them all together and show you what they look like. But then you got the bright blue, and then, you know, 
even if you had not Mezcal came out with a classic Batman that the way he's blue and gray was like you put all of them together they'll they'll stand out for sure and articulation on this fella is excellent most clothes hinders him in Mezcal's defense but this fella he's perfect you see what I got done with him he's just standing up but I know some of you likes to take your uh, photos and that off him and you do a great job with this fella he's lots of fun And I'm hearing like a lot of people talking about how the bases are a bit too big. I think the bases are perfect except for the peg needs to be a bit higher because it's hard to get the mezcos in there. But you could put all your bases all by side and have your figs overlapping on them. No problem. And which I'll end up showing you when I break out all my mezcos, I guess. But yeah, you could have them overlapping on each other's bases and that and for it to not take up much room. Because I guarantee you, the minute the Mezco stops making the bases, the first, the people that's complaining about the bases will be complaining about that they're not there. But yeah, I just like how uh, it's just cloth, but it gives you the natural shading in the muscle, which is nice. A little bit baggy there, but that's fine, that's good, because less of a chance for it to tear. There you go, guys, look. Daredevil. Yeah, I'm really having fun making these videos. I got loads of Mezcos coming. That's why I had to get these out. I got a bunch of NECAs and different statues and stuff too coming. So, And some stuff maybe you've never seen before is old. So keep on watching and thank you for watching. And if you can't subscribe because it means the world. Leave a comment, good or bad. You got to take the good with the bad. I'm only starting out typing. I'm out of the year, but it's not like I got a lot of videos out. But they are coming. But yeah, bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Alright, till next time. Peace.